Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Hey folks, welcome back to Trucking and Politics. My name is David. I have a, a different show, a different episode here for you today. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do a video on uh, something that I had mentioned in one of my other videos about strange occurring things, weird, supernatural type weirdness. Um, I will do that video. Uh, I may do it tomorrow. Um, but this one just popped in my head and I wanted to do this one first. <clears throat> um, a series of events have happened to me in the last six months, I guess. And instead of them getting better, they have gotten worse up until just uh, about a week ago, I guess. And um, I can tell that it's dwindling down and, and things are about to change uh, drastically for me. With that being said, that's my personal life. The reason I started this channel was because I saw where trucking has been going for the last 25 years, maybe 30 years. <clears throat> and um, I don't like it. I don't like the direction that it's going. One of the hardest questions for me to answer is an extremely simple question. It's just one word. Why? And it just opens up this barrel of worms when you ask that question. Why is trucking going this way? Why are truckers this way? Why is the trucking industry this way? What is going on and why? And it, it seems like everybody has a difference of opinion. Well, because of this channel, and I have told you why I started this channel with a conversation with a friend of mine. And um, he was yelling and yelling about everything that is going on, everything that's happening, and just screaming and you know, carrying on about it. And I just yelled, why don't you do something about it? Instead of just yelling and griping and complaining, why don't you do something about it? And I heard that. That resonated in my head when I heard that. And I thought, well, David, why don't you do something about it? So this is where this whole thing has got its beginnings and anyway, um, that that's why I'm here. That's why I'm I, I have started this and bringing these conversations and these videos to you. I see the problem, and and I'm not here to tell you that I am some egotistical narcissistic person. I, I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know how to fix every little detail and aspect of everything that's wrong with trucking. But I do know what's going wrong with trucking. I know where it started. I know the path that we have been going down. And I have the answer to change it. The thing is, I need viewers. I need people like you to help me to grow this channel, to support what I'm saying, 
and bring it to light to more truck drivers and more people out there so we can even start the change and turn you know it, it reminds me of that song give me 40 acres and i'll turn this rig around well that's what we're doing right here with this channel we're trying to create that 40 acres you know give us 40 acres and we can turn it around and we can go the other direction with it but i can't just make this 40 acres appear out of thin air. I need help doing it. And that's why I'm wanting more subscribers. I'm wanting more viewers. I'm wanting more views. And um, this, uh, that's why I came to this conclusion of doing this video first instead of the one that I was originally wanting to do because that one is going to be a crazy video and i ho i hope uh you don't get weirded out whenever i do that video because it's going to be strange it's going to have some strange stuff in it and you may say well that has absolutely nothing to do with trucking and politics and probably it doesn't it's just a fun little video that i have been wanting to do but a lot of it is not fun a lot of it is not um uh, nice, I guess you could say. It's just downright weird. But I've been building up to doing that video, trying to talk myself into doing that video for you for just a break to get out. Well, so anyway, let me catch you up <clears throat> with what has been going on. What is strange about this is I have told you before in... Uh, past videos that there's a lot of times where I just want to remove myself from a situation. And it's not because I'm giving up. It's not because uh, I feel like it's overwhelming or whatever you want to say. It's not that. It's my wife. <laughs> to be honest with you, my wife. I used to be an assistant manager at a grocery store. I was a swing manager, meaning working days and nights and weekends and holidays. I just, I was this grunt manager for years. And I got to the point where the way that I managed, I saw a problem. And it was like a snap of a finger. I knew how to fix the problem. I needed people to help me fix the problem, which were employees of this store. So I started delegating. You do this, you do this, you do this. You know, I will help you with it. I, I never said anything to any employee there. I don't think, uh, you, you should never say never, but I don't think that I managed in a way to where I told anybody you're going to do this because I don't want to. Uh, I just needed help. Okay. Um, you saw me at night cleaning, re cleaning the restrooms. Uh, um, I wasn't below that. I wasn't beneath that. I would be in there with my khaki pants, my white button up shirt with a tie on and I was cleaning restrooms and uh, you know, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Um, employees respected you when they saw a manager doing something like that. Even though I had other duties to do, um, I, I wasn't b beneath that. I, I would do whatever. I would mop the floors at night. Um, there was nothing in there that I wouldn't do myself that I would just tell somebody to do. So I earned respect and that's where I need to be with this channel. I need to earn people's respect. Um, I think a lot of people that watch these videos know um, I'm not trying to deceive anyone. I'm not here for just personal gain. Um, 
like I've said many times, if I just wanted personal gain on YouTube, I know how to do it. You know, do videos about boobs and butts. I mean, it's very simple. They're out there. I mean, you see videos out there, uh, type it in in the search line, whatever like that, if that's what you want to look at. And these videos, some of them are getting 1.5 million views, uh, 20 million views. Um, just stupid, mindless videos that's about boobs and butts. Uh, and, and they get the views, you know, because that's what people, especially young guys, want to go see. So I know how to make the money on YouTube, okay? But that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here for exclusive personal gain. I'm here wanting to change truck driving. I want to change the direction that truck driving is going, and I want to go back to somewhat of an era to where we had a fellowship, uh, a union of truck drivers that we stood up and stuck with each other. So, with that being said, the reason I'm doing this video here is because of a guy. One person. Um... I had a conversation with a truck driver just the other day. I was in Scott City, Missouri. If you know where that is, it's in the Cape Girardeau, Jackson, Missouri area. There's a truck stop there at Scott City. I was sitting there. <clears throat> I was waiting on a dispatch to come through. And... Um, He was doing a pre-trip on his truck. He pulled up. I noticed the front of his, he was driving a Dodge Ram. The front of his truck was smashed in. And uh, he had bungee cords holding his front bumper together. Um, he was doing his pre-trip. I was sitting there with my driver window down. My truck wasn't running. I was just hanging out, waiting on my dispatch. And... Um, when he lifted the hood, I saw he had a Cummins engine in his truck. So this is how this started up. And I just happened to yell at him and say, hey, how do you like your Cummins engine? And I told him about my channel here, what my thoughts and ideas were, and uh, what I have been trying to do with this. Reach out to as many people as I can to try to change the way trucking is and the way trucking is going. And he was nodding his head and he said, uh, I probably will remember this for a long time, if not forever. He said, look, man, this is not really about what truck drivers are doing. It's what they are not doing. And I said, Okay, what do you mean by that? And he said, truck drivers are not what has brought this industry down. Yeah, there's a bunch of them that throw their trash out. They're trashy truck drivers. They throw their, their urine bottles out. They, uh, they're light for loads. They job hop. They, they're problem truck drivers, right? There's a lot of those out there. But there's also a lot of truck drivers out there that have really put in a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of energy and they're just swimming uphill. They're battling an uphill battle. So with that being said, he said, I have said this for many years, this other truck driver I was talking to, he said, I've said this for many years. It would be very easy to change this. Now, it's not going to change in one day or one week or one month. But to get it started would be very easy. Now, I, I said, I'm all ears. Let, let, me, let me hear what's going on. He said, if you could get some traction with your channel, if you could get a bunch of of subscribers to your channel if you could really reel in 
and get a lot of people involved in your channel. Okay? Be more relatable to truck drivers. And I said, yeah, I've been wanting to do uh, videos uh, or interviews with truck drivers and actually talk to them and not just hear it from my side. I would like to hear it from their side. And I really wish I'd have had my camera with me um, at that time because I would have loved to have interviewed this truck driver, but I didn't. And uh, I'm still needing a microphone, which I, I've been postponing buying the microphone. I didn't know what camera setup and microphone setup and everything I want to use out, you know, out of the truck and talking to people because you have to have certain things that work together and uh, some of these things don't don't work. So I've been working up to that and I, I'll eventually get it and start interviewing truck drivers if they want to be on camera and want to be on this uh, channel with me. So with that being said, I said, what's your idea? Tell me. I, I'm all ears. I'm ready to hear it. He said, there's somewhere between three and four million truck drivers on the road, right? And I said, sure. Somewhere in that area. I mean, uh, some of them are not accounted for. Some of them, I'm sure, are double accounted for. So I don't know the true number of truck drivers out there, but estimates show around three to four million. He said, exactly. Okay. If each one of those, each one of those truck drivers would only give one dollar, just one, one dollar, you would have three and a half or four million dollars in a bank. You could then change the way your channel is into a business to where you are a valid spokesperson for truck drivers and you would be rich. And I said, I don't, I wouldn't look at it that way. I wouldn't look at it as I was rich. I would look at it as I would have a supply of money to start change, to create this 40 acres, to turn this trucking industry around. It has to start somewhere, folks. And so far on this channel, I've been on here approximately six or seven months, somewhere like that. I have never asked for one dollar. I have never asked for one single dollar for any reason on here. None. And it's not that I don't want to. It's not because I want to get rich or I don't want to get rich. It is, it, it is none of these things at all. The reason why is, is because being a small channel like I am and having small views like I have, um, I'm only going to get small donations. Probably only 1% of viewers would even acknowledge the fact that I'm asking for this. So with having just a little over 2000 subscribers, um, my channel views vary greatly depending on the, depending on the amount of money, depending on the amount, uh, on the quality and the, uh, the content of the, video um the content and quality means a lot on these videos but even with that even just one percent of the people that watch this channel i might get nine hundred dollars a month maybe and that's not what I want to do. It's not for personal gain. And what are you going to do with $900 a month? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All you're going to do is make the viewers mad. Well, I gave you money. Why aren't you getting results? Well, what is $900 a month going to give you? Nothing. 
Uh, I mean, you're going to get laughed at is what you're going to do. You take $900 and try to change the way the trucking industry is, which is a trillion dollar a year industry. You throw $900 at it and it's just going to be a laughing stock is all it is. So that's why I've waited to bring this up. That's why I've waited to ask for this because I want more viewers and more subscribers and get the word out more. And, and it's not for my personal gain folks. I mean, it's, that's not what this is about. It is for us to get better. Um, and I told this guy about this, this guy I was talking to and he said, you're right. And he said, the other thing that you're not thinking about is even if it is three or four million truck drivers out here, you couldn't get 10,000 of them to agree. Heck, you couldn't get 5,000 of them to agree. You would be very, very lucky. And he said, I'm very su surprised that you've got 2,000 subscribers on your channel. I'm very surprised that you've even got that many people that agree with you that want to watch your show and you could be whatever you wanted to be on there. I'm really surprised you've gotten that far ahead because truck drivers just don't want to stick together. They don't want to make this industry better. And that's something I brought up in my last video is like truck drivers have this Stockholm syndrome. They're a glutton for punishment. They keep going back to the same thing over and over. They want different results. They can't get it. And they get frustrated. They'll leave the industry, go do something else, or they'll just continually keep going and going, trying to find what makes them happy and they can't find it because it's no longer there. This is an industry now run by the government and corporate, corporate interest groups and power hungry, greedy individuals. That's what drives trucking anymore. Um, that's why you always hear about the self-driving trucks. That's why you always hear about safety systems on trucks. They're wanting to push the truck drivers out of the industry to where they make it robotic, to where <clears throat> they don't have to listen to you about your personal stuff and your time off and your family and all this. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear someone say, yes, sir, I will go get that load for you. Yes, sir, I will stay out on the road three weeks at a time. Yes, sir, I will work for you with no benefits and no health care. Yes, sir, I will devote 20 years of my life to your company. That's what they want. That is exactly what these corporate interest groups and these corporate trucking companies want. I saw one just the other day, a trucking company not far from my house. They turned in nine million. And this is a small trucking company with 50 trucks. Nine million in annual sales. And they want to pay their truck drivers 50 cents a mile. Not a single word about home weekends or whatever. And this is a small trucking company. Now you put that on steroids and go to somebody like Snyder or JB Hunt or Warner or somebody like this. They just as soon uh, see you just dwindle down into nothing. And while you're falling down on your face, they're screaming at you, get in the truck and go deliver this load. They don't care folks. They just absolutely don't care about human truck drivers whatsoever. They care about their profits. That's what drives them is money, power, and greed. That's what drives them. So 
with this guy I was talking to, he said that he goes by spark plug on the CB. So if you see spark plug out there, he's a bed bugger. He, he's a, a home goods mover. And um, if you see him out there, tell him, hey, you know, Dave at Trucking and Politics said hello, spoke highly of you. Spark Plug's a great guy. He has some great ideas. Um, I told him about the channel. Hopefully, he'll come on here and watch a few episodes. Maybe he'll be a subscriber. I don't know. But, folks, as I've said time and time again on this channel, it's up to us. It's totally up to us. They, corporate interest groups and the government and all this they keep saying yes we will change but as long as money is flowing in and money is the object they're not going to change they're not going to change because that's what they're after they're not after you they're not here to help you they're here to help themselves and to get money in their pocket that's why i don't want to mislead anyone here and keep screaming send me money send me money let me help you send me money because i don't want to have that type of aura around myself to where you know everybody is sick and tired of hearing me come on here and say give me money and i'll help you change because that's not who i am and that's not what i'm about do i think that it would work Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. If I started a business and I had $3 million in the bank and I had supporters and I had a channel with a million views per episode, you dang right we would change trucking. We would totally change it. And uh, guys, hang in there. It's going to get better. I promise you. I, I'm going through tough times too. Um uh, I am, and I was very frustrated at first, but uh, we will get there. And hopefully when better times come, we don't get complacent with it because that's where we start falling is when we get complacent. We need to hold these people accountable for what they do and what they've done. So anyway, I'll quit rambling. I'll get out of here and uh, hope you're having a good day. I hope your day is getting better. I hope your everything that is going on with you is getting better. Uh, together we can. Not to use that slogan because that's that's a bad person's slogan right there. But we can do it. And uh, until next time, have a good day.